Josie time. Anatomy with Josie. Okay, so we have the liver here. <laughs> and we have <laughs> the gallbladder. And connected to the gallbladder, you're going to have, well, actually, let's start here. We have the stomach and the descending duodenum. And once we move up the greater omentum, medial to the descending duodenum, you're going to actually find the pancreas. And the pancreas is a part, looks like it's part of the mesentery, but it's actually the pancreas right over here. And that's medial to the descending duodenum. Then we're going to have the descending duodenum attached to all this, which is the jejunum, attached to the ilium. We have the blind end, which is the cecum, ascending colon, transverse colon, descending to descending colon, up to the rectum. Okay. Can you said the. the ring? And now if we do the inguinal ring, we have out here the superficial inguinal ring. Then you separate the sheet of the external abdominal oblique and the internal abdominal oblique, and you can find the deep inguinal ring. And through the deep inguinal ring, you're going to have the spermatic cord that comes from out here into the wall, in here, and what we don't have is the cremaster muscle, which is also supposed to be part of this entrance. And the borders of the inguinal ring are going to be the lateral edge of the rectus abdominis right over here. Then we have the internal abdominal oblique. And the caudal edge of the internal abdominal oblique is going to make a border and the inguinal ligament. And those are the three borders of the deep inguinal ring. That's all.